enjoy going through the exhibit here called Play Ball. It's by the, um, the textile exhibit. And I saw the, the placard there that had a quote from um, Thomas Perry's book uh, about the leagues. And I thought, well, that might be kind of fun to, um, to, le to learn about. And um, that's sort of how it came, came together. I didn't realize how big of a topic it was. And I certainly should have narrowed it down some. Um, did you I, learn anything interesting? I did. I learned a whole lot um, about the about the teams, about a lot of the intrigue of, of you know who played for who and why and when and um, I I didn't realize how many players went from the um, mill mill teams to the major leagues. Anderson had, had about two dozen, but there's well over a hundred players over the, the, the time. And it's very important to this this region of the country to have these teams in playing, right? Right, right. The um, the the mill villages, you know, were sort of separate from town, um, and there wasn't a lot of interaction with with the towns. Um, baseball was a big thing in the South anyway. That the towns had had teams and things, so this was a way that they could could compete. Um, the mill teams routinely beat the townies, um, and it was sort of a sense of pride, and it kind of helped to build that camaraderie that was important to the mills as well, um, that when you have a, a happy and well-motivated workforce, you can get more work done. Um, but the um, the owners did did try very hard, I think, to um, to make sure that baseball, once they saw that people liked it and enjoyed it, to make it um, to make it happen. Um, of course, towards the end, it kind of got too big um, for its for its own good, I guess. Um, but the poaching of players um, really turned out to kind of be a, a big death knell. What um, one of the things I was reading was that the um, the local village um, kids, you know, they wanted to play ball. They wanted to to get on these these mill teams, and they were being boxed out um, because they were they were pulling in ringers, basically, um, for the lack of a better word. They called it ivory hunting, but <laughs> I'm not quite. I noticed on one of the slides, I, you couldn't possibly cover everything today, but. There was a women's league. For a while? There was a one-year women's league league in Anderson County, and um, I think it was Appleton that won the um, the series. But I could not find a picture of it. I did find the um, in here. We've got a, a postcard of the 1934. Or, or it's the opposite, but it's a softball league that they've got got here. But they actually had a. Um, a, a baseball league, but I couldn't find much information other than the name and they identified some of the players on one of the teams. Um, but it's kind of fun that they, they tried, but couldn't get it to, to hold. Now remind everybody who you are and your relationship with the museum. My name is Eleanor Walters and I'm a volunteer here at the museum. I work in the um, uh, the research room one afternoon a month and I also help out at the front desk and um, I'm one of the docents. There are several of us who um, will will give tours to um, anybody to ask. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.